remember when the Columbus Community College started. Uh, my parents were involved in the beginning of it. And you know, I started going, you know, maybe once or twice a month. I remember we used to get lotto tickets to go. Um, that, that was an extra benefit of going. But it was great. And it, you know, you know, back then I didn't realize the, how important it was, the Colel to the community. But as I've seen it over the past 20 something years, it's amazing to see how much the Colel has, has impacted the community, you know. Um, you know, whether it's people who still are here, you know, our headmaster of our, sc of our school, you know, came from the Colel, people who work in the communities, some of my friends, you know, came through the Colel. It's just great to see the impact of the community. And I'm excited that it's growing. I see that they are, you know, really connected to Judaism. And uh, not only the width, the, the width that the Colel is impacting the community, of how many people that it impacts, but also the depth and helping really people connect to Judaism and people who didn't have the opportunity you know, when they're younger to go to, to Jewish education, but now as they get older and they want to have those options, it's really important. And it's really important for you know, my family that other people have the ability to make the decisions you know, of, how, of how Judaism impacts their life. And you know, not just at a young age that, hey, if you get a Jewish education, you have the, op, you know, the, the, the knowledge to be able to do it, but at any age, that you're able to do it. And the Colel has really stepped up to the plate in this community. And I see many people um, really connecting to, the, to Judaism. Uh, the, the people who, you know, Rabbi Morris has done an amazing job over the past years of bringing, you know, great talent into our community and really reaching out to people. Philanthropy was always very important to my parents and Judaism. And Jewish learning. They really raised us to understand the importance of our Judaism and giving back and just being involved in the Jewish community. They thought there was a need for continuing Jewish education in the community. The Kola was a good way to bring talent across the United States to Columbus. It's vital to a Jewish community to have that type of resource. My siblings and I went to Jewish day school and they really believed in the power of Jewish learning. We ended up leaving Jewish day school and one of the requirements was we had to learn at the Kolal. It ended up being amazingly transformative for my siblings and I. We were curious sixth, seventh, eighth graders trying to question everything and I think that the teachers there understood our perspective. They were very relatable and it was really a big part of my life to be able to ask whatever I wanted to ask and have it be an open format. When you're growing up with a Colel in your community, I think you're exposed at a younger age the importance of Judaism and the importance of keeping those really strong values. Every single week I would go there. I would get my pretzels, my chips, my Sprite, and I would sit down at Rabbi Tuchman's table and get ready for class. Being able to change a person's life by giving them the information and the tools that they need was really what they're all about. My parents will take care of someone else before they take care of themselves. Before the Kolo, there was the seed program here in Columbus as well. I do remember that my parents were really involved with that seed program and the Bakram coming here. And I remember them coming to our house quite often. And it really like impacted the community a lot. So my father really just dove into it and wanted to bring the you know, the C program to a full-time level in Columbus in the form of a COLO. Early engagement, I think, translates to long-term relationships, and I think the COLO does that really well. I remember Rabbi Green being the golfing rabbi. You know, he, he went out and golfed, and he formed relationships through golf or through that personality of sports and interests like that. My dad and my mom were very involved and really wanted to push for the COLO to be here full-time. To have the COLO there for us as a place to go to to study Torah beyond just the day school education, you know, for my father to go there to have Chavrus learning and, and group learning, uh, which again, there was none, nothing like that in Columbus at the time. I've got pretty much all the foundation in Judaism has come from here at the Kolel. This is my Jewish connection to Torah study. Like I could have easily got lost in like, you know, the whole university environment and, and stuff like that. And it really helped me maintain my Jewish identity and grow it. I almost felt more connected to Judaism when I was in college because of that. Having the coal in Columbus has made the day school stronger, it's reinforced education there, and it makes the synagogue stronger. One thing that they've always put an emphasis on is Jewish education. That's always been the main focus of theirs, of my father's, my mother's, and my grandparents. I think the Kola really represents my parents 
pretty well. I mean, it's you know it shows their their dedication to to Jewish education, and also shows in the way that they do go about that in a very quiet, humble manner as well. And hopefully, it'll continue 25, 50, 75, 100. You know, we'll see where it goes from here. My father was one of the pioneers who started the Kolel with my grandfather, Rabbi Stavsky. It was a big deal for the Kolel to start in Columbus. I remember I was in high school when the Kolel started, and nobody even knew what a Kolel was, but we went there. We went to learn there, and the Chevre HaKolel always made it fun, and they were friendly. My father was so impressed with the Chevre HaKolel that he wanted me to be like them, and he wanted me to be a serious Talmud Chacham. But he was very involved with the families of the Kolel, making sure that they were comfortable, and my parents became very close with each family, really just wanted it to succeed and grow Columbus, which it has. There's a serious Torah community in Columbus thanks to the Kolel. And those were the values that my parents always appreciated. They value what the Kolel represents and what the Kolel brings to Columbus. I think growing up in a house where Judaism was such a big part of it and community work was such a big part of it definitely impacted me. I went to Baltimore and learned in there Israel thanks to the influence of uh, the Kolel. I've seen throughout the years, and especially living here, that my parents, both of them, are, are passionate about growing Columbus and having Columbus succeed. How you can't just sit back and let it be, how there's always something to do. I always remember as a kid that either my dad or my mom, one of them was always running to a meeting. My father really values his friendship and his relationship with Rabbi Moore. As somebody he's able to talk to and get advice on life issues and to speak about learning, of course, and over the years they've spent hours and hours learning together. The shul, the kolel in the school are really a huge part of their lives. And my parents continue to get so much out of the relationships that they have with the Kolel families and with the Rabbi and Mrs. Morris for many, many years to come. My hope is really that Columbus continues to grow as a Torah community thanks to the influence of the Columbus community Kolel. Mm -hmm.